So if you want to get started with designing or you're on a computer where there's no designing software for some reason and you want to get things quick, you can actually use a lot of free browser-based design applications out there. So over here, I have a bunch of tabs open and we're going to see some cool design apps that you can start using for free right away. So I'm going to go to the first app that uh, I'm trying, trying, I've been trying out. So it's known as the photo editor from be funky right over here where it has actually three, three subcategories. It has a photo editor, a class maker and a graphic designer. And the interface is quite simple. So you can see that these are the range of photos you have. There's a zoom in and zoom out. So uh, it's kind of like all the design applications out there just like that. There's also different customizable features right here. And you can see that as you go through these, it's quite easy to just get used to all of these things right over here, just like that. And you can get used to all of these things. So this is one of the app right there. Let's be funky. The other one over here is Canva. So you can actually go on to my playlist and find a tutorial about this as well. This is a very well made online application and provides a lot of features for graphic designing right on the grow, go right on your web browser. So you can see that you can work around with the background. You can even work around with videos, text, and so forth. So you can add in a lot of content over here, just like that. So if you want to make some post over here, work around with the fonts, have your brochure ready, or you want to design PowerPoint presentation slides, you can use Canva. The other one over here is Pixlr, which is a popular web-based uh, Photoshop alternative, which is actually um, uh, can be integrated with Google Drive as well. So you can work around with layers just like in Photoshop. Actually, the version you're seeing here is the light version. So you also have like a detailed version, a more complex version of Pixlr as well. This is more like Photoshop and gives you a lot of functions to work with. So you can see that you can add in vignette, uh, you can add in effects, dehaze. So this is uh, one of the Photoshop alternatives that you can use, which is totally browser based and free to use. Trello is another application that you can use as well. So this is similar to Canva. As you can see right here on the left side, you have the selection. You can work around with the backgrounds. You can work around with the objects. So you can simply drag it out right here and then start working around. So you can move around and so forth. So you can see that this is very, very similar to Canva, the layout and everything else. So if you've already used to Canva and you want to uh, actually switch uh, the application, try something out new, you can use Trello. Same goes for Trello users as well. So if you want to try, you can go for Canva right over there. So all of them browser based. So how cool is that? Uh, another one you can use is Snapper as well. So it's a simple browser based application again for graphic design with less spacing, line height and so forth. And if you're used to Adobe applications, then this is actually something which is similar. So you got the uh, tools on the left, as you can see, you can add an effects right over here with a bit of saturation and everything else, the text effect, the graphic and so forth. This has also comes close to Crello and uh, the Canva right over here. But again, it's more simpler in terms of the details that it has, but very, very powerful. You can create the graphics right on the grow as well. You have the layer controls over here and everything else. Uh, another thing over here is the infogram. So infogram is more for uh, like data driven like graphics. For example, you can see right here, this is something like uh, for the pie chart and everything. So you can actually go around and work around with this as you can see right over here. So this is more for like uh, graphics based. If you want an infographic uh, like something over here, so you want a powerful free tool to work around with your graphics, you want to work around with your bar chart then you might want to use infogram right over here. Also uh, free to get started and uh, work around with different type of graphics right on the grow. And you can see that is quite beautiful. So you can just work, start working around with this quite easily right over here. You can also download this out, of course. Another one is uh, an online based 3D design program. This is by Autodesk itself. It's a Tinkercad as you can see. So you can actually work around in 3D space for this one as you can see. So when I get started with 3D, you want to start uh, getting a uh, hangout of 3D. And this is one of the cool 3D design apps which are uh, actually available online for you to use. So you can uh, customize it, right? As you can see right here, you can 
pull this out and work totally on a 3D space. And all of this is right on your browser. So just like that, you can even work around with 3D applications over here. You can export it out as well. You can even download OVZ files over here or even send it for 3D print over there, just like that. You can download to OVZ as well and then open it out with the existing 3D applications like Autodesk Maya or Cinema 4D and so forth. The Tinkercad over here is by the makers of uh, Maya and 3D Max AutoCAD, so it's uh, from Autodesk, of course. So Tinkercad, another cool online design app that you can work with. And you can work with 3D shapes, so you can do that over here by using Tinkercad. The other one here is Gravit. So Gravit is a designing app, and this is similar to Adobe Illustrator, as you can see right here. So you can actually work around right over here, make cuts right here. You can work around with the parts. You can work around with the opacity right over here. And a lot of things, actually, you got a lot of hidden features on this application. You can cut out and you can see that you can really control out the shapes right over here. So you can go and work around with the text over here. You can work around with different shapes right here. You can work around with the images. You can work around with basically different type of items right over here. So you can see that you can even select path, resize it. You can go around, place it out and so forth. So different type of options like drop shadows and everything. So this is a very, very detailed tool in fact. So it is something that you can get actually uh, really good. So all of this is online. So that, that's the cool thing about it. And that's what I like. So you can actually go around, move around, you can zoom in right over here and work around with different things. So that's uh, grab it for you guys. So next is the vector app. So this is similar to uh, Illustrator, the online, online version of Illustrator as well. So you can actually see that there's the rectangular. This is a much more simpler version of Gravit. So there's less options right here. So if you're uh, really new to design as well, and if you want a simple control for some quick work, then you might want to use this. So you can see that all of this are vector graphics right over here. So you can actually zoom it in uh, and then work around with this just like that. So you can work around with th these things right here. You can resize that out, work around with the can canvas right over here, and there you go. So these are the options that you can work with. All of the things, you can change the background color, you can change everything else out here, just like that, as you can see. So this is another application vector. So that's V-E-C-T-R without an O right over here. That's the name of the application. Uh, one of my favorite tools is Adobe Spark. So I have a tutorial on this as well. And this is um, actually a design app from Adobe itself, the makers of Photoshop, Illustrator, and all of this. And uh, it comes uh, in the package of your Adobe Creative Cloud as well, if you're subscribed to it, and it is all browser-based. So you can select different templates or work around with layouts uh, and resizing options right over here. And it's very, very simple to use, even if when you're starting uh, to get uh, to get familiar with graphic design over here itself. And not just graphic design, but you can edit videos, make small animations, and even design your own web pages over here, simple web pages from Adobe Spark Posts. And to get started with it is completely free as well. So this is one of the applications that I use a lot personally myself as well. Another uh, app that you can use is the Design Widget, as you can see, and this is similar to, again, Canva and similar to Trello, it's similar to Snapper right over here. As you can see, this is a design widget. So use those templates right over here and then loads the template. And there's even an online video editor, guys, for this. So you, there's a separate timeline-based video editor. So if you are planning to edit videos online, then you can actually use this. So that's design widget for you guys right over here. So image editor, you can go over here and then choose uh, like different graphics, right? You can bring in shapes over here. So there's a lot of things you can actually do right over here. So you can change out the transparency settings, move around, and there you go. These are, these are the things that I, you can actually do. So this is similar to other applications, but the cool thing is this one actually has a video editor with a timeline right over here for to do a detailed editing. So another thing over here, another thing that you can use is of course, this is my channel logo, so I'm going to go on to the next one. That is the 5D Planner. So this is actually a 3D-based application as well, but this is 
uh, rather for designing right over here. So you also have like different options. So you're given different options right over here. So I've been signing yet. So something like, let's say you want to go to bathrooms or for toilets right over here. Okay, let me not just bring in toilets in the lesson. So let's just go around and let's go around into furniture, tables, and I can simply bring in the table right here and it is there in 3D space. So you want to do some planning right over there. You want to plan out your house or your apartment or so forth. You want to go around. You can go around to do the view as well. You can change out the type of area that you want to bring. Bring it out right here change out the entire structure right over there. So it's something that you can use for designing as you can see right over there. So you're more into architecture then you might find this tool very, very useful. And this is a totally online base. So this total 3D based application which is totally online and you can use it just by dragging and dropping the 3D models to plan and design uh, your apartment or even make a house design just like that. So those are some of the three applications that you can actually use right from your web browser. So do give them a try out. So try those out and keep on practicing and keep on learning. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.